where Meredith Morakovitz has the clubhouse report. Thanks, Bob. Incredibly quick turnaround for the Yankees. Their team plane took off after the celebration at about 1030 and then they arrived at the team hotel here in Houston at about 230 local time. Not a lot of time to think about this one, but something tells me this team has been thinking about facing the Astros for quite some time. The theme in that clubhouse is pretty much unfinished business. Luis Severino spoke earlier today and he was asked about the crowd here at Minute Maid Park and he said Houston is just like everywhere else else wherever we go no one likes us we are used to it now the Yankees will hand the ball to Jamison Tyone who will make his first postseason start he did appear in the DS but hasn't actually started a game since October 4th when I spoke to him after the game yesterday he said he just needs to go out there and attack he is excited for the opportunity he grew up not too far from here it's certainly meaningful to him to be able to take the ball now they did make some changes with their roster Oswald Peraza is on it Aaron Hicks is not on it. DJ LeMahieu and Ron Marinaccio also did not make the cut. Aaron Boone said he just didn't feel like those guys were 100% but did not rule them out should they advance to the next round. Frankie Montas is also going to be an option out of the bullpen but can't give them too much length. He did throw a couple lives down in Tampa. Aaron Boone said probably the best that he has seen him since he has become a Yankee. Greg Weissert also an option out of the bullpen in this one. Now when you look at the Yankees lineup today, some changes. I know you guys have already discussed them a little bit. IKF back in there at shortstop. Aaron Boone said that's probably going to be evaluated on a game-by-game -game basis. But if they are going to succeed, they believe IKF is going to be a part of it. Also, John Carlos Stanton in the outfield. He has said all season long he likes playing in the outfield. He feels more engaged. And it even takes a little pressure off him when he is in the batter's box. And Matt Carpenter gets his first start. You're going to hear from him later in the show. Bob, back to you.